Don't smoke some weed real quick. Nigga, I live in Hollywood for free. Nigga, I'm just trying to mix it, mix it. I can't go to Baltimore because I don't want to. So I just have my brothers, my two brothers. Come on, best Broccoli, Yeah, I want broccoli. Broccoli green. Yeah, I do want broccoli. All right, let me just prepare the turkey. What else can we do, man? Well, we just got, we got what we got. All right, so man, they probably want to go back to the store. Oh, yeah, we need the noodles for the uh, mashed potatoes. I mean, that's mashed potatoes. The noodles, the noodles for the mac and cheese. Yeah. All right, uh, back to the turkey. You took them like an hour. So that's what we need. Mark is going to be crazy. We're going to go to the turkey. Yeah, 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 we're going to so for this part I just wanted to um weigh in here um so You'll hear me, hear me going in and out um, as Carlissa speaks. I um, So episode three was uh, really mainly driven by her in the current state of Chris and Blue. I'm not sure if they are expecting uh, or not for sure, but I do know that history tends to repeat itself and let's just hope that this won't be the case 
and I'm wondering as I'm watching as I was creating this episode and looking at her look at herself on Instagram um, I can see where the turmoil started people because you didn't okay your mom and dad sought out to have you we worked very hard in the bedroom to make you and and this what you this the thanks we get okay so right there extremely inappropriate it makes absolutely no sense to me why she would bring up to a grown man how he was uh, populated into the world when he already has children himself this sounds very juvenile very immature very attention seeking and it's quite disturbing um, honestly in my humble opinion and with all due respect to all parties involved yeah. At least, you know, I'm going to need you next week to go get your dad out the, out the shelter or something to act like you give a fuck at this point. So in the art of war, you never show your enemy your weaknesses. You are family first, so you are a tribe first. So all those on the outside of that tribe are subject to put you at war are subject to go at war with you and you expose your weakness as a tribe when you expose one another period and for your position in your family in your tribe it is quite disgusting madam that you would share your personal business with the public granted your entire gripe is that your entire gripe is that he shared a story that was shared with him when he was a young child. It has nothing to do with today's world. You absolutely knew that he didn't mean to call you a crackhead directly. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous and it doesn't even matter what you thought his intent was. You're the matriarch. You do better. You exemplify better. And they follow the example, madam. Cause right now you 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 looking real shady to a lot of people. I'm gonna need you to when you say my name. I'm gonna need you to know this come right behind it. You're not gonna disrespect me. You're not gonna try to make life more than what it is. We gonna talk about them fifty dollar an arm lessons. We gonna talk about church every Sunday. We gonna talk about um that scholarship that your mama went and got for you. Okay. And nobody else on your team got one. We're going to talk about all the homework assignments that I helped you do to make sure that your GPA and your SAT. Has this ever happened to you? And of course, followed by this. Oh, what about the time when you have to go somewhere, can't find the right thing, right piece of jewelry, the right dress? With everything going on, no one, and I mean no one wants to deal with the hustle and bustle of the malls these days. And then... Here comes BH Gate. BH Gate offers a wide range of custom made products from jewelry to dresses, cell phones, earbuds, even all kinds of things. Cool shoes. All at low, low prices that cannot be beat. And using my link, you can get an additional 20 to 30. 30% off. Next to nothing on your next purchase. Kiss the hustle and bustle of the mall goodbye and say hello to DHK.com. So, no one's perfect, right? Um, and I'm sure we've all thought of the things that we've done for our children, but make no mistake, that was our job to be the best parents that we could be none of us asked to be here and so you give what you created a clean slate an even cleaner slate than you were given how dare you throw in who is your child's face what you did for him when you were nurturing him as a mother because i tell you the truth all of what you did is not what's remembered right now madam and it's being diminished by every second that you take up on the internet 
attempting to defame your son who has enough viewers to do that for him. He is your child as you are so desperately trying to get him to remember. So why don't you first start by acting like he is still your son. I like them. So no matter how hard you try to be one of them, you'll never be one of them. Okay, you don't, I'm not giving you no excuses. Now, your brother could get on here and say, I was whoop, whop, doop, dot, all that. You, sir? No, sir. You're not fixing to go back to an incident from nine years old. You so, now let's break that down a bit. And for anybody that takes uh, offense to this, please understand that this is a personal YouTube channel. This is not a business. YouTube is not a job. YouTube is a monetizable content creating platform. I am a private citizen and I've decided to share my research publicly. Uh, moving forward, you probably should first be upset with the person who provided the content for me to research. And that would be Miss Carlissa and everyone involved. Moving forward, I want to break that statement down that she just made. She stated that your brother can state that I was this, that, wop, right? And so her, again, let's keep in mind her initial gripe is that she was called a crackhead. So if the brother can claim this, that, whoop, wop, then ma'am, you are confirming the kind of mother that he claims that you were, whether it be to him or to another child of yours. So the statement remains true, madam, by your own admission? Who was better off going to the incident from where Johnice jumped on my ex who was high on the stuff? That's what you should have said if you wanted to make it like, you know, it was vital. But you couldn't say that because then you don't, then I would have said really what happened, where you, what you did to help. Okay? So when you say your mama's name, you better start saying it properly before I go in your grab bag and pull some shit out. Okay? We don't do that over here. Do not do it again. And I need an apology, or I might start going into your shit. We good? Because I ain't seen you pop on here to pop none of that stuff you over there talking to the weirdo about. Trying to relate. You cannot relate. There's a demon inside her that you'll never understand. She's running circles around you. You don't know nothing about this over here. You didn't have to survive mentally. Okay? You had to throw a ball and try to get to college. That what you land with? Partner, you not ready for that. I can guarantee you on 10 different levels, you not ready for that. You not ready for it at all. You not even ready for her siblings. You hear me? You not ready for that. You don't know nothing about that animal that lives inside that person. That's crying out, pretending, oh, Jesus Christ. You don't know nothing about that, boo. I'm telling you, you don't want to play with that. Okay, it took me a many a many a years to get that out of my system. And this still it, it's treads. So that trauma that you over there laying with, you need to be trying to get where you're supposed to be and get back on what you're supposed to be doing. Because you're not ready for that. Okay? That's a whole nother animal for you. I guarantee you, you don't know how many people you're dealing with over there. And I can guarantee you, it's ten of them, about seven of them you ain't even met yet. Okay? So, my question to Carlissa would be, why not the public and vehement warning to your son on the industry as vehement and publicly as these warnings have been about the other toxic women in his life? had to talk with that young lady which is why i tried to pull you out that system you're not ready for that system okay that's a whole nother system she went to jail and ate that food you hear me she ain't gonna blink at it it didn't smell good it didn't taste good she ate that shit okay you i guarantee you she ate it i guarantee you she walked right in like where the food at been there done that know everything about it ran the whole prison you are sleeping with the enemy right now and you don't even know it. But I tried to tell you and I tried to warn you. From a perspective who's been there, who knows that system.
my own advice, everybody else, keep doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody get to you. Feel like that.